Hello, welcome to Satu Games. I'm Nick from Pads and Pawns, and today I'm going to be reviewing Rorschach for you. This is a game based on the famous ink blots. What do you see when you look at them? Let's go take a look. In Rorschach, you uh, break into two teams and then for each round a test team is assigned. They're the team who will have one player who is providing the clues, as it were, and a control team is the other team. The test team will assign one of each of their tokens to the three words that are dealt up and then deal out four ink blobs. The idea is you're matching the words to one of the ink blobs, so each word must be matched to one. So the control team then look at these and decide one picture to remove. Now, this one with Lego Batman in looks a bit like a scary face. Bat is an animal, frog's also an animal. So they, they decide to take this one out because they think it's most likely to be used, the easiest one. Then one player on the test team will take these three different markers separately and assign them. Uh, they're going to say that this is most like the devil, so they place this face down. Uh, they're going to say this looks like upside down lungs, so they're going to place that there, frog, because a frog has lungs, and then that on there, just by process of el elimination. Now, the rest of the team will then look and they will guess one. They will they only have to guess one at this stage. So they're going to say that this is most likely to be the devil. Then the control team will also make a guess on the same card. So they either agree or they disagree. If they agree and it's correct, no one gets a point. And then there's a second round of guessing on one of the other two cards where only the test team get to guess. So they might go, yeah, frog, yay. If, they, if it's right, they get the card as a point. If it's wrong, then no one gets a point. However, if this team were wrong here and the test team, the control team were right, they will get the point and there's no second go. If both teams are wrong, then no one gets a point and you swap roles. If both teams are right, no one gets the card and you have the second turn as said before. What's the other one? If this team is, uh, the test team is right, wrong, yeah, they're both right. So yeah, whenever these guys are right, they always get a bonus go. Uh, the only way for this team to get a point is be correct when this team is wrong. Uh, it is slightly hard to work out the scoring, but there is a chart that I've basically been following to get it all right. And this has been really good to use for me. So that is how to play and hopefully score Rorschach. So Rorschach is a party game uh, with the kind of combination of pictures and words, which we have seen before in a number of ways. Uh, codename Pictures springs to mind. Uh, what I like about Rorschach is the... Um, the variety of ink blots, which at first didn't appear. I don't know if I didn't shuffle them very well or I shuffled them too well so the similar ones appear next to each other and I just kept seeing Batman. Um, <laughs> maybe I'm Batman. Uh, but um, the ink, the variety of ink blots is actually really good and there's a, there's a lot of fun trying to work out. Um, you're not just trying to work out which picture looks most like the word. You're trying, you're looking at your teammate and going, why, which would they most associate with it? And so there's kind of a number of levels. And so that, for, for that reason, I think it does add something kind of new. Uh, you kind of do that in pitch games, but it, it can become more obvious. And of course, the real fun of games like this is when uh, someone makes an outlandish connection and everyone else is just like, what? You did what? Um, the game actually has uh, quite a fair bit of variety because, um, because of the amount of cards in there. There's a good wedge of cards, words and ink blots. And um, we, I've even played it ignoring the team rules, just playing it with my son and wife and seeing uh, who's linked up the most, who's connecting most in the way they think. Uh, you can very easily kind of just house rule it for that. 
So I think it really depends on kind of what visual word game you're looking for in terms of um, versus codename pictures. Well, code, the pictures in codenames pictures are quirky, but they're all kind of one tone, one color. Um, and so in that sense, this is the same. You've just got the ink blots, but I do find the ink blots because they're abstract, quite interesting um, and, and quite thought provoking. Um, against something like Muse or Mysterium. Again, you've got the beautiful artwork in that. And this, you know, this isn't beautiful artwork, it's ink blots, which can look really, really nice, by the way. Uh, but it just felt really cool. Uh, and I like the way it plays out with the, the four that come out, one team can cancel the obvious one, so <laughs> straight away it's even harder. Um, and then sometimes you'll get a word that just seems to apply to all of them, UFO, you know, or sometimes you'll get a colour and you'll be like, oh my goodness, how am I even going to, and then something clicks, uh, but what clicks for you? Is it what clicks for your teammate? Probably not. It comes in a nice small package. Um, I think this is, a, this is a great one to uh, whack out at parties, within youth groups. Um, you could use the ink blots for other situations, you know, what do you see? You can make other games. Uh, so I think it's a solid, solid party game that can be used in more ways than perhaps it was even intended. Thanks for watching another Zatu video. Do remember to hit like and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. If you want more content from us, we are also on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and TikTok. Uh, we stream live on Twitch on Monday's lunchtimes from 12 p.m. Uh, that's a solo board game. And we stream live from 9 p.m. on Fridays playing some video games. On Wednesdays from 8 p.m. on Facebook is our weekly live show. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you again next time.